What is going on guys? I am Sam and welcome back to Louisiana. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to do a clicked tabletop on your bike. I'm going to be riding a dirt jumper today but the same tips, these same principles apply if you're on a mountain bike, a trail bike, an enduro bike, if you're on a BMX bike. These same things apply. This is how you do a tabletop. So let's get started. And why should you even want to know how to do these? I think tabletops are an amazing trick to learn. If you're a beginner they're easy to get into doing tricks and if you're a professional it's a trick that you need to have on lock and be able to hit an amazing tabletop whenever you want. Tabletops are a trick that you don't have to commit to first go. You can kind of learn them and then keep working your way into them and building up and you're comfortable. They're safe. They're stylish. They give you better bike control and it's a trick that you can do on basically any jump and at any speed you can do a tabletop anywhere. You can do them on really fast long and lows. You can even do them from a bunny hop once you get them perfected and I'm going to be giving you the tips that you need to start doing a tabletop. You can do them on quarter pipes. You can do them on straight jumps. Let's stop talking about it and let me actually show you what happens when you do a table. Before we actually start talking about how to do the tabletop, you need to make sure you understand just exactly what the trick is. So a tabletop is going to be where you take the bike and you lean it over at a pretty high degree. If you get a really great one, the bike's gonna be almost flat at 90 degrees, but I think anything past 45 really counts as a tabletop. And you're going to be leaning it in the direction of your leading foot. So if your right foot forwards, then you're gonna have the bike going out to the right. And if you ride left foot forwards, you're gonna have the bike going out to the left. If for whatever reason you happen to learn your tricks reverse, so for example, if you're riding right foot forwards and you learn the trick with the bike going to the left, that's what's called an unturned down. That's a different trick than a tabletop. So we have to understand the mechanics of how this trick is actually done. How do you take your bike, go off a jump in a straight line, and then lean the bike over at such a steep angle? Because a lot of things take place. Thankfully, it's really easy to figure out how to do, even just messing around with it. But I'm gonna give you some tricks that'll help you get them more dialed more quickly. So whenever you jump a bicycle, you're you're only contacting it in two places, the handlebars and the pedal. So all of your control to turn the bike on its side is gonna be coming from the handlebars and again, from the pedals. Now, the most important way that you get leverage to turn the bike is coming from your handlebars. And the way you do the motion is you take your hands and you kind of twist them so they're facing in towards each other. And you take your right hand and you push it over and you take your left hand and you push it in. So your two hands are counteracting each other. Now, if you have wider handlebars, that means your left arm's gonna get pretty extended. You don't want your left hand fully clamped on the grip. Otherwise, you're gonna be limiting your motion to about here. So I like to kind of open up and just kind of hold on with my thumb and my pointer finger so I can click the bike over further and just barely beyond that grip. It doesn't feel that scary once you actually start doing it because you're not fully letting go of the handlebars. And if your ground's coming up really fast, you can snap right back out of the table. But the best way to get click tables is to understand this opposite motion. You want your hands going in opposite directions. In fact, sometimes if I'm just thinking about doing a table, I'll take my hands and I'll push them all the way over like this, just to solidify that muscle memory that when I go off a jump to do a tabletop, I need my hands to go all the way over. I think a good rule of thumb for when you've really got your tables locked in is you want your hand to be all the way almost to your armpit. That's when you got a good table going because these handlebars are straight and your bike's gonna be way out on the side. What you do with your handlebars is only 50% of doing the tabletop and the rest of it is coming from your pedals and from your hips. It's really easy to figure out this motion of turning the bars like that. In fact, you can even lay on your back and practice this. Yeah, that's actually how I learned the motion for doing good tables. Lay on your back and practice. But what you do with your hips and your legs are just as important. So you have to understand when you go to lean the bike over, you're gonna be fully standing on the bike. Your hips can only flex out so far before you're not even gonna be able to move the bike anymore. If you want to get a really good clicked in table, you have to somehow open your hips up to move more. And because your hips can't move much to the side, you need to move them in a different direction. I'm gonna be tabling to the right. I'm actually gonna open my hips up this direction and then I can move my legs back as much as I want. And you can see how much more movement this gets me. Instead of going to here, now I can get my leg all the way back. So when I go off the lip of the jump and I'm in the air, I kind of turn my hips and doing that lets me get this bike over as far as I want. And you'll actually see that on some of the tables that I do. Now, because you manipulate the bike so much when you do a table, you should not be doing it when you go off the takeoff of a jump. Instead, it's best to wait just a second for your bike to be fully in the air before you actually go to throw the tabletop because you don't want to be messing with how your bike rides off the takeoff and you don't want to mess yourself up in the air either. So my rules of thumb for doing a tabletop are to cruise off the jump, wait a second, and then twist your hips and turn your legs back and cross your arms as best you can. And that's going to slap that bike over sideways into a tabletop. Let me do one on this quarter pipe. I'll do one off my kicker and show you just how many places you can do a tabletop. But once you learn the motion, you can do them anywhere. And like I said, even from a bunny hop, allow me to demonstrate.
So when you're doing tables, one thing you need to make sure you're not scared of is letting your hand come off the grip a little bit. You're not fully letting go, but you're not gonna be fully gripping. And when you do the table, the foot that's gonna be on top of the bike is not gonna be fully on the pedal. In fact, I like to slide mine down a little ways on the crank arm and it helps me have a little bit more movement to get that bike clicked over really far. As long as you know what to expect and you know what to do, you can get your tables unlocked just like this. And that right there, guys, is how you do a table. I think it is a basic trick that everyone should know. I mean, if there's a jump big enough for you to catch air off of it, you can do a table on it. There's no bike that you can't table and tables are the kind of thing that it leads into so many other tricks. It gives you so much better bike control and you can do them in combination with other tricks. You can literally table anything, anywhere with any amount of time. So absolutely learn this. You will have a blast. It'll give you better bike control and you will look so much more stylish. And the great news is, is a beginner friendly trick. You don't have to commit to it and go all or nothing. You can work your way up, barely leaning the bike over, learning the basics. And then as you keep doing them and as you keep riding your bike, you will get them dialed and get so much better doing tabletops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something. If this helped you out, please comment down below. Go get on your bike. Make sure to wear your helmet and your protection. Go send some jobs and learn how to tabletop. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.